let us have a quick tour of the back end so once you've installed the floating menu you can access the floating menu from your dashboard so first of all you need to go to menu settings in the menu settings you have options like uh, to disable or enable the entire menu to enable or disable the menu for mobile view uh, you can choose the menu and uh, you can choose either to show the menu on the entire page or just your home page for now let's just choose show for all page and save the settings so to create the actual floating menu we'll go to floating menus currently i don't have any menus created so i just click on add new menu so once i've done this i'm going to give this menu a name let's say sticky menu example and add the menu so once i have successfully added the menu the way to add menu items is through custom link so i'm going to add the url to my home so i'll just go to my front end copy the url go back and paste and call it home and add to menu the next thing i want is a contact page so let's see contact us just gonna copy it paste it and call it contact next one i want a about page so i'm just gonna copy the url go back to my menu and paste it and add to the menu another thing i can do is add my uh, social icons to it so to do this i'll just go say facebook.com call it facebook and add to menu let's say i want to rearrange the icons which i can simply do by dragging and dropping them to set up the floating menu just click on this drop down you'll get the option to show navigation level let's say i don't want to show it uh, title attribute let's just call it home I'm gonna copy this this will also be my tooltip text as well so I want to show the tooltip I want the target to be as this is I want it to open in the same page and to select the icons I'll just search for home and that's it similarly for the about so navigation level uh, title attribute tooltip show tooltip and open in a new tab select icon about for contact show navigation level add title attribute add tooltip title show tooltip title open in a new tab select icon so I have dash icon font awesome and uh, Zendrick icons so font awesome let's say mail icon for Facebook Facebook I don't want to show the level title attribute tooltip say follow us follow us on Facebook so tooltip title target link open a new tab select icon I think it's a generic icon and Facebook and save menu so once I've done this go to display settings share you can choose from a built-in template or a custom template so first let's check a built-in template I've got five different templates let's say I want template number three you can choose the menu bar to be on the left or the right I'll choose left for right now and save settings so if I do this I should be able to have some output in my front end so I'll just go visit my site and here I have it my home my about my contact and my Facebook so that was the sticky menu with a default template you can also customize the pre-built templates so it suits your theme so to do this i'll go back to my backend go to custom templates so if you don't have any templates created you just need to create on add new template uh, name the template let's say 
template okay template three modification okay select one of the templates to modify let's say template three I can choose the icon background color let's say I want it to be red I can choose the icon site let's say 20px I can choose the menu icon margin let's say 2px I can choose the hover color let's say I don't want to change the color let's say font color yellow typography so these are all Google fonts so hope you can find a font that you like I want it to be none let's say 12 the size to be 12 px for tooltip settings I want the font color to be again yellow background color to be red and again I want it to be in the flower and size to be 16 px and save so I've created my custom template to assign it I'll go back to the floating menu choose to edit the floating menu display settings and choose my custom template and save so let's check my front end I'll just refresh and here we have it so that was the sticky menu for the floating menu to learn how to configure it for a one-page menu, please stay tuned to our next video. Thank you.